You. Yeah, come here. Come here. You got any games on your phone? Well, you're about to after this. But before we get to that, I want to give a huge thank you to my current garrulous tier channel supporters, Wildwire, Elijah Perry, Common CJ, Keo Cartoons, and Noah Wizbios. If you want to shout out for yourself at the beginning of these videos, go click the join button below, and don't forget to subscribe, because it keeps these videos coming, and it keeps me alive. And while I'm demanding things of you, why not answer the question of the day down in the comments below? Last time, in which I said, what was your favorite part of Sonic 06? To which this individual replied, Silver's cuffs and quills reacting when he uses his psychic powers, which is a thing they've never brought back again in the games, which I'm very upset about because that was very cool. Answer the question in the comments below to maybe get featured in my next video. Hello, hello everybody, I'm Garrulous64, and I always get this question when I make videos. Is this playable on my phone? Usually, the answer is no, but today, I'm coming to you with seven Sonic fan games that you can play on your phone. Assuming that you use an Android device, the clearly superior choice because you can play all of these games and Steve Jobs' ghost isn't gonna rise from the grave and come grab you for it. Now we all know there are plenty of official Sonic games you can already download with a new one, Sonic Rumble, on the way soon-ish. I haven't really been paying too much attention. But if we swipe over here, oh, look at all of these games we can try out. Some kind of surprising ones here too. I wonder what those are gonna look like. Let us begin with a true classic. Classic Sonic Triple Trouble 16-bit, except this time you can play it right on your phone wherever you are in the world. If you've never seen this game before, this is a remake of Sonic Triple Trouble for the Sega Game Gear, which, in my opinion, is a really good game, but this makes it even better. Aside from upping the frame rate, including widescreen and all new level designs and bosses, we also have brand new visuals to bring it more in line with the classic Sonic trilogy. You have the option to switch between Sonic and Tails at the press of a button during regular gameplay, and if you're playing in free play mode like I am here, you can play as Amy Rose and a selection of a few other characters after you unlock them in the main story. Amy even comes with a slew of moveset options so you can play the way you want to play, including her Superstars incarnation or the very superior Sonic 3 Air style moveset, which lets her bounce all over the place like she's made of rubber. How did that happen? Well, yo ho ho, it's a lot of cardio. Is anyone even gonna get my One Piece reference? I don't know. Sometimes I make jokes for me, not for anyone else, so I hope you can appreciate that. And while we're playing remakes of games, why not check out Sonic Advance except on your phone? This is a game that's super nostalgic for me. I had it as a kid and I hated it because I was terrible at it. And now, I'm still not that good at it, but I do respect the game for what it is. It's basically Sonic the Hedgehog 4, except uh, a lot better than Sonic the Hedgehog 4. This version of Sonic Advance Android is called the MOST version, and that is an acronym, not just a confusing title choice, which stands for Multi Original Soundtrack, as that is the biggest feature of this port. When you start up the game or in the options menu, you're able to choose between two different soundtracks for the game, which includes a GBA mix, which includes remixes and other things that sort of make it have GBA feel, and a MIDI version of the soundtrack in case you're a fan of old MIDI music. Along with that, we have fully functioning touch controls and brand new menu and font for the game so it's not all squished and crunchy like the GBA version. Because let's be honest, upscaling that on an emulator does look a little bit weird because font never really upscales the best no matter what you're trying to emulate. Well, I can definitely appreciate that, and I can also appreciate having this entire game on the go without having to carry my GBA around. Though, to be honest, I do really like my Game Boy Advance. It is very nice and custom and has a nice front-lit screen. It's also got this sound mod in it that makes it louder than I'll ever need it to be, so uh, kind of just leave the sound off most of the time. Oh god, it's like getting flashbanged by noise. Alright, let's keep it moving with the Sonic 3 port that Sega never gave you for your phone, Sonic 3 Air. Now this one is an exception because it actually also works on iOS devices, but don't ask me how to set that up because I don't mess with that kind of thing. If you've played Sonic 3 Air on PC, you have all the same features that you had access to there. That includes, of course, widescreen, 60 FPS, many, many options in the options menu, unlockable abilities, Mod support, which is absolutely mind-boggling, because you know my stance on mods, they keep games alive for far longer than companies ever try to make them survive. And of course, this port is still being updated to this day. I actually had to update it just yesterday on PC, because there are some new mods out for hacking Contest, which, surprise, surprise, take advantage of the most recent version of this game. If you like Sonic 3 and Knuckles, or you just want to mess around with mods on your phone while you're, I don't know, on the subway or at Subway getting a sandwich, this is the one for you, and I 
recommend you play it right the heck now, because, like, you know, Sega's not gonna release it on your phone, and if they did, it'd probably be like Origins, and I don't think anyone wants that to happen again. Now, these next two games are things you probably haven't heard of before, the first being Sonic Eclipse. This is a fully original Sonic game, despite having only a few acts and one boss fight currently, is a totally new level with new abilities and new level design. Here in Wily Weather Zone, wonderful, wonderful name there, we see Sonic platforming through what seems to be a snow-covered rendition of Green Hill or someplace that looks similar to it because we know there are a lot of places in Sonic's world that just so happen to look like Green Hill because Sega is uh, very inspired. In addition to the spin dash and peel out, we also have this air dash move that costs a few rings to use, but don't worry, there are rings everywhere so you can keep using it and getting yourself hurt by ramming into enemies wherever they may be, because there are a lot of enemies here and sometimes I felt like it was very out of my control whether or not I was going to run into one. This is a very fast paced game though, I really enjoy that aspect of it, and the boss fight is even pretty unique in the fact that I see Eggman dropping rings every time you hit him, which I think is a pretty good risk reward kind of thing, because of course you might take damage in this boss fight, but you can always get more rings from the man up there. Rip that money right out of his wallet, you know he doesn't deserve it. Another very small addition to this game that, you know, you might not even notice at first, if you go off a spring, typically you are vulnerable because you are not in your spin state, but if you press the jump button again, you're actually able to curl into a ball, which is not a thing that a ton of ROM hacks and fan games tend to do, but when they do do it, it does give you a lot more control over how you are protecting yourself. You know, Sonic's main catchphrase, gotta go safe. And and finally, we get to the last 2D entry on this list. Yes, we're going to be looking at some 3D fan games after this. We have Sonic Momentum, a word that gets thrown around a lot, but I'm not sure a lot of people actually understand the meaning of. But this game... Oh boy, this game is gonna learn you what momentum is. Sonic Momentum, I'm gonna say right off the bat, is the most unique 2D Sonic game I have ever played, boasting a bunch of new moves that are both flashy and extremely versatile and effective at making it through these levels. This game seems to take a lot of inspiration from Sonic Frontiers, with all of the levels being called cyberspace stages, and even having interesting little visual glitchy effects on certain elements that you can break in the stage. We have this special roll move that is activated when either going up hills or down hills, to increase your speed and also sort of mimics the psi loop a little bit in my opinion, sort of reminds me of that. We have some combat as well, but you end up flying over a lot of the enemies most of the time, so I haven't delved too much into that, especially on touch controls, it's a little bit difficult. We also have this move that's slightly reminiscent of Sonic Heroes Blue Tornado move, which lets us get some vertical momentum, and of course several dash and attack moves that will get us moving horizontally and very quickly, might I add. If I can give this game the biggest compliment in one word, I would say flow. The flow of this game feels incredible when you start stringing these moves together correctly. And if you don't believe me, just look at the gameplay. Even on touch controls, which I am not a fan of, I'm still ripping through these stages and feeling amazing while doing so. And you're even able to play as Tails and Knuckles as well, but I didn't manage to do that because I'm still trying to perfect how Sonic plays. I really need to do that before I move on to the other dudes, but I'm sure they're fun as well. When you check this one out, make sure you play as them and let me know how it goes. Our penultimate game for the day is one you should be very familiar with, considering people still comment about it on many videos that have nothing to do with it for whatever reason. This is Sonic Utopia, except you can play it right there on your handheld device. This one level, somewhat open zone game took the world by storm back in like, I don't know, 2014, and people are still talking about it today even though it's never had an update. And I can see why it is still an extremely impressive project that sort of revolutionized classic Sonic in 3D. This is another game that really has that flow state really nailed. We have a pseudo homing attack if you're close to any springs or enemies, which preserves the momentum that you already had going for you, which is very nice because this level is massive. You have the super peel out, which can get you moving after you hit a wall and need to reposition yourself. Of course, if you're using the touch controls, that may happen a lot because, of course, not the most precise method of input, but I digress. And of course, don't miss out on rolling down hills, because when you roll down hills in this game, your speed cap is nowhere in sight. You just keep speeding up until you are almost out of control, but in a level this big, again, that is very nice. Just flying through it as fast as you can and learning when to jump, when to homing attack, and when to roll. 
they could teach a full college course on just how this game works, and I feel like I might still fail it, because I'm just not a very good learner, I'm gonna be honest. And finally, we have the most shocking one in my opinion, Sonic Project 06 on your Android device. Both this port and the Sonic Utopia port were made by Beats, and the description will have links to both these games and all of the others you've seen in this video, so make sure to send your love the creator's ways. And this is the only game I actually bothered to hook up my Bluetooth controller for, because this game I feel like I do not want to play with a virtual D-pad. But here we have an older demo of Project 06, where we can play as Sonic in three different levels, Wave Ocean and the other two that are probably obvious, but I don't remember off the top of my head, so, uh, haha, <laughs> whoops, memory problem. But Wave Ocean, guys, my goodness, we have not only Sonic playing exactly as he does in Project 06, but also Tails because he's in Wave Ocean. With this one especially, I believe your graphic settings are going to make a world of difference in terms of the performance you're going to get. As you can see here, even on my phone, which I think is a few years old at this point, I'm managing to get like a good... 58 to 60 FPS depending on where I am in the stage and I'll show you a quick screenshot of my graphic settings here in case you want to try and copy them and get good performance like I have here and like I said a second ago if you have any kind of Bluetooth controller that means PS4 controller I assume Xbox one controller you can even use a switch pro controller or joy cons hook them up to your phone's Bluetooth play this thing like you're playing on the Xbox 360 except a screen you might need to squint at a little bit because it's uh, made for texting and uh, flappy bird I guess yeah, that's coming back, but it's uh, kind of been stolen from the original creator, so uh, hey, don't support that. I don't really know what to say about this, aside from the fact that I'm just kind of blown away that it works on my phone at all. Like, I never expected to be able to play Sonic 06, let alone a version of the game that's actually fun to play in the palm of my hands. But I guess me explaining the game to you is not really what you're here for. You're here to see these games running and to find out where you can get them yourself. Which again, in the description you can find every single link to the games I've shown today. And if you end up having fun playing these, make sure you support the creators. And you can always like this video and subscribe for more content like this. It helps the channel keep going and helps me keep making videos to try and entertain you guys and have fun on my own as well. And without further ado, I want to do my closing shout outs here to my channel supporters who are Wildwire, Elijah Perry, Common CJ, Keo Cartoons, Noah Wizbios, CSDX, Nian, Danny Lee Dauber, Mr. Dreamcast, Jeremy, Dax, Faye, Minty, Mega Traficone, Ty Little Tech Guy, Crystal, and over on Patreon we have Drew Smothers and Noah Wizbios again. Thank you also to everyone who's supporting in the $1 tier which will also get your name listed here and helps the channel out a lot. Click the join button below the video to get more information and a badge next to your name that gets your comments seen easier. Again, helps the channel out a lot, keeps me doing what I'm doing, and you get a bunch of perks for yourself. So if you want to see that, go click the join button below. But for now, I must go. I hope you had a good time and I will see you in the next one.